Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm doing the Flash Your Stash Challenge. I ripped my notes when I was trying to rip them off the notepad. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I just, <laughs> I tried to rip my notes off of my notepad using one hand, and I ripped them horribly. So it may take me longer to read the questions than it normally would have. But uh, anyways, I'm doing the Flash Your Stash Challenge that was started by Terry and somebody else. I forgot who else. <laughs> but I'll link them both below if I can remember. And if I can find anybody else who's done it, I've seen a few other ones. I'll link them below too. It's not a, like, it's not a tag where you would tag someone else to do it. It's just, if you want to do it, you can do it. So I thought I'd go ahead and do it. Alright, so first you're supposed to like show your stash and all that and then uh, answer five questions <laughs> that uh, they came up with. Come on, I'll set them down. I'm sitting in the floor by my stash right now, by the majority of it. I do have a big box of scrap balls, but I'll show that when I'm talking about scraps here in a minute. So my stash. There's toys in the floor. <laughs> um, I have three bookshelves. One's a real tall one. Uh, I don't know, six foot, six and a half foot. And these other ones are like three footish. And I've slowly accumulated more yarn in the last few weeks. I was only down to these two bookshelves right here. And then I ended up getting a lot of gifted yarn right in a row. Like it's, some of these were actually getting empty. And this one here in particular was like half full. I was really proud of myself for going through my stash. And then I just kept getting boxes in the mail from people giving me yarn. Which I appreciate and I love all this yarn. But it made me have to take my books and stuff out of this last shelf and put yarn there. So I do have it organized. As you can see, it's kind of color coded. And then all the weird stuff's down here. And some up there. But yeah, so that's my stash, the actual like full skeins of yarn. There are some of these are open, but when they're not uh, floppy enough to be rolled into a ball, I still stick them back on the shelf. So now I'll answer the questions. There's a chip box up there. It doesn't have chips in it. It's uh, got all kinds of knickknacks in it. I'll show you that in a second if I can remember. It's those are the boxes we buy from Sam's Club for Jesse because he likes chips and we buy those giant boxes of a hundred thousand things of chips. It's like 30. It's 30. <laughs> but because he, you know, it lasts him forever. But anyways, recycle. <laughs> so from my horribly ripped um, notes pad, that was nice and pretty. I'm going to read. Oops, I just ripped it worse. <laughs> Question number one was, what do you like to store your yarn in? <laughs> To read it when it's ripped down the middle but uh why do you like to store your yarn in is that right yes well bookcases <laughs> i used to before i had the bookcases and if you've been watching me long enough you know they were in totes like just storage totes i don't know what they're called other than totes um i kept them in there because they stayed clean and uh when we lived still with my sister uh we lived in just a bedroom so we didn't have room for it so i had those totes in another part of her house with all my yarn in it and then when we moved here they stayed in there for forever because jesse was little hey bubba he's coming but because he was so little he still messed with stuff hey you gonna pop in here for a second he's got ketchup all over his face <laughs> but um so now i use my bookshelves and i do have a big cardboard box with all my scrap balls in it and i'll show that in a minute okay. number two do you sort by brand color weight or content um i sort two different ways one by color <laughs> ish and one by size i'm 99 percent of the time i use size four worsted weight yarn i do have some size three right here that was gifted to me and there's some random bulky in there and uh this right here i think is a size four but it's really thin so it's like a size three let me see what is this where is it yeah, it says it's a size 4, but it's super duper thin. It's more like a decay. But, um, it's kind of a different texture and feel. That's why it's over here. So, this this is just a regular acrylic, except that right there is some knit crate yarn. And I think that's wool. <laughs> that was good to me. But, for the most part, all of this is acrylic. And it's kind of cor color uh, separated, not perfectly. You can kind of see that it, I did try to color coordinate a little bit. I got blues and greens, and then browns and grays pinks oranges yellows purples and then the other purples are over here with the white and like uh caucasian skin tones i only have one of those left and then this is just overspill from up here and this is just kind of some of the weird stuff i've been gifted and down here is variegated i think it's all variegated and some knit crate yarn down there that i haven't got to use yet yeah so i do kind of separate it by size and 
color, but that's mostly because I just use 99% of the time I'm using worsted weight acrylic because I do make mostly things that aren't wearable or in, that doesn't have to be fancy. Like I love making decorations and amigurumis and things like that, so I don't need like wool and stuff or fancy yarns, but I do plan on using a lot of this stuff that was gifted to me. And uh, these I did buy. I don't even know why I bought it. It's just one of those things where it was new and you saw it. So I got to figure out something to do with that. I'm thinking maybe some kind of shawl or something. We'll get there. Anyways, that's a tangent. Let's see here. Number three. <laughs> All right. Number three is, do you like to keep basic colors or brands of yarns on hand? Or do you only buy for a particular project of mine? I think you could tell <laughs> just by looking at my stash. I just, I buy when I like it or when I need it. I love to keep, if you hear a weird noise, Jesse's over here spinning around in circles. <laughs> but I do keep like all the base colors on hand and uh variegated and stuff like this i buy usually when it's on sale or if it's on clearance i'll buy it without even knowing anything about it just because i like it and i'll eventually make something with it number four i can just read from this broken one now <laughs> number four where do you store your scraps and what do you use them for i'll pop in a clip right here of my scraps okay this big box right here is my box of smaller scrap balls i do keep my white and black in here even if they're big like this because I use white and black so much so I just keep it all together. So I got all kinds of, these are gifted to me and these are kind of like bonbons I guess, I'm not sure. But they're thinner weight, like a DK weight and I'm just keeping them in here so I can make amigurumis with them. But underneath all that is all my random scrap balls. And these are all of the scrap balls that are too big to go into my, my random ball. Where is it at? It's up there somewhere. It's way up there. I can't get to it <laughs> right now. But I have a big ball about the size of this of the littler scrap balls put together to make an ugly. I've decided what I'm going to make with it. I'm going to make a big monster amigurumi to be my button monster to put all my buttons and pins from everybody on there. I thought that'd be cute. But, uh, and any of my little tiny scraps from like snipping ends, I stick them in my bag of fiber fill so that I can use it to stuff amigurumis with. But, uh, yeah, so that's my scraps. They're all down in there. There's a bunch of them. This is a big box. Oop, there went one. But, yeah, so that's all my scraps. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> Do you inventory your yarn? If so, how? I don't inventory it. It being displayed like this is about as inventory-ish as I get. Hey, bub. I'm right here. I see you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't inventory my yarn. Um, I'm surprised I don't actually because of how planned out I usually am, but I just stuff it in here and, you know, I can see it and know that I need more of it, I guess. That's about as inventory as I get. That's funny, Mama. You're funny. Yeah, me funny. Here, can you go throw that in garbage for Mama? Yeah, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was broke. It was ripped. Mama accidentally ripped it. That's okay. That's okay, Mama. So if you're interested in this, you can go, you could totally do it. You can either film a video of it and put it on YouTube, or you could even take pictures of your stash if you'd like and put it on my Facebook group, which will be linked below. Or if you don't want to do neither of those, you can just answer the five questions below in the comments and it'd still be fun for me and everybody else to read them. I guess that's about it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else will like it uh Bye. share it and i'll see you guys next video bye guys bye guys